Hello, Bernie. What's happened? You look rather worried. I am worried, Mum. In fact, I don't really know what to do about this problem. You haven't smashed your bike up again, have you? No, Mum. But I think the vicar is in trouble. Really, Bernie? And why do you think that? Well, he wants me to be a witness. And not just me, but lots of us from church. OK, so what's the problem with that, Bernie? I don't want to go to court, Mum. It's a scary place with people all dressed up in black robes like crows. Like crows? Yes, Mum. And I don't want to swear on the Bible. I might get it wrong. It's all so serious. Hold on, hold on. Let's start at the beginning. I don't think the vicar is asking you to be a witness in court, Bernie. He hasn't done anything wrong that needs you to go to court. But he has, Mum. I saw it with my own eyes. What did you see? On Tuesday evening last week, when I was out on my bike, I saw the vicar walking along the road and he was in a big hurry. But that's not a crime, Bernie. He was carrying a money bag. What money bag? You know, the one that's put in the safe with all the money in it. Oh yes, I know the one. Anyway, I saw a police car stop and the vicar got into it and he was driven off. I think he's been nicked, Mum, for stealing church money, caught in the act. OK. I understand now what's going on. Phew. I knew you would, Mum. Do you remember, Bernie, that we have been collecting money for SCS so we can give meals to poorer families in Guildford during the Covid crisis? Yes, Mum. We went up there and helped them pack meals into boxes. And as you've been chatting with the bishop, perhaps he could arrange to get him off. The vicar, I mean. Just listen, please, Bernie. Lots of people have given the vicar money for the project, which I expect he's put into the church safe. He was probably taking that money to the treasurer so that it could be put into the bank. OK. But what about the police car? Well, you know Ben? Yeah. He works for the police and sometimes he gives the vicar lifts around the parish. You know, the vicar's car's been playing up recently. Oh, so the vicar wasn't arrested? No, I don't think so, Bernie. I think we would heard about that if that had happened. Then why has he asked me and everyone else to be a witness? The vicar was asking us all to be witnesses for Jesus. Oh, no. What has Jesus done wrong? I thought he was perfect. Jesus is perfect and he hasn't done anything wrong. In which case, why does he need witnesses? Jesus wants us to tell other people about him and about all the good things that he has done for us. So... We are to witness about the good things that Jesus has done for us rather than the bad things that some other people do. Exactly. You're starting to understand, Bernie, what kind of witness the vicar is asking you to be. But who will listen to me being a witness, Mum? Your friends and schoolmates. You told me the other day about how you told them about the sponsored bike ride you are organising. Yes, and they all laughed at me. Yes, I know that, and we talked about that. Oh, but Billy and Belinda, they both rang me to say it's a really cool thing to raise money for, and they now want to join the ride. Brilliant. Can you think of other ways we can be witnesses to people? No, not really. What about the SCS project? Don't you think that is a good witness? How? To be a witness, don't you have to be telling people about Jesus? 
Sometimes our actions speak louder than our words. Oh, so we're kind of showing them Jesus' love rather than telling them. Yes, but we may well get the chance to tell them as well. People might be curious and ask, why are we doing this? And then you can explain that God loves them. Absolutely, and what he means to you. Your own story is always the best because it's real. Thanks, Mum. I'm so glad I don't have to go to court. <gasps> Me too. Although... What is it, Bernie? Mum, can you get done for speeding on a bike? Oh, Bernie...